What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. I've got a ton of just old used up regulators. We get a lot of trade-ins here at the shop. Uh, here's an old decor, of course, um, that was recently traded in. We do a lot of buyback programs. We'll, we'll take your old rigs, we'll give you so much for them uh, to get you into a new rig system. But unfortunately, these rigs are really not good for nothing at this point. I wouldn't trust to use this because it's not been rebuilt. It can't be rebuilt. I can't get parts for it. Um, but I always like to try to find a repurposed or another reason where I can repurpose something to, to use. And so I've got three older rigs here that I've done exactly that for. These two right here, I use for our big sub salve bags. You guys have seen that in our salvage videos. They simply just have a low pressure hose straight to the first stage. They hook into the bag, and then I can manipulate how much air goes in the bag by simply turning the air on and off from the valve. So that's a great little uh, tip that you can do there as well. This one I actually use for training purposes. This is one of the reg sets that when we do an equipment techniques, we tear it down, we show the people, or show our students exactly what's inside the first stage, what's inside the second stage, and how they work. So I can use it as training aids as well. But another little neat tip, and one that I utilize probably more so than not, is I've got just an old first stage, it can't be rebuilt. I've got just a standard low pressure hose, and I've got this little air tool from XS Scuba. Now, you guys have seen the review video on this in the past, but I use this like every single day. So if I need air really quick, not breathable air, but air here in the shop, instead of cranking up a compressor, either our scuba compressor or just a workshop compressor, I can simply hook this to a scuba tank. I've got a little air nozzle here, and I also got a tire filler. And as a matter of fact, that's why I wanted to make this video. My wife stopped by uh, the shop here today and asked me to fix her tire, said it was really low. So we're gonna go out here and I'm gonna show you how I can use a repurposed scuba regulator, a first stage and a low pressure hose to fix her tire. And this is something we do when we go on vacation. I take a standard aluminum 80, I take a first stage with a low pressure hose and this, and I can fill up around 30 to 40 tires depending on how much PSI they take at any given time. So let's go out here and let's see if we can use an old regulator that's not good for scuba use anymore. Let's see if we can use it to fix our tire. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gauge your tire. Now I've actually already fixed the hole in our tire, uh, but we're gonna gauge it up where it needs to be. We still got about another 15 or 20 PSI we need to put in this, or in this tire here. Like I said, this is a 72, but a standard aluminum 80 will give you about 30 to 40 complete fills of a car tire. And, and anytime we go on vacation, whether we take my wife's car here or we take my truck, I always take a scuba cylinder with me. I always take a first stage, a low pressure hose, and this little tire filler. And it has saved us, I don't know how many times, Maybe you get a flat, maybe your tire just gets low, or maybe you come across somebody that's got a flat. We do a lot of vacation and down to the North Carolina coast where we do surf fishing. We drive my truck out across the sand. And when we go out across the sand, of course we have to drop the pressure inside the truck tires to go out across the sand. Well, the problem is, is when you come back onto the roadway, you gotta find a gas station to fill up your tires. Now, that's not that big a deal, but you gotta pay for that air. I've already paid for this air. It's my cylinder, it's my, my air, it's my compressor. It filled it, why not use it? So I take it with me as soon as I pull up off the sand, I pull off the side of the road, pump up my tires to working pressure again, and I can go on about my day. So I'm gonna check this last tire for her real quick. Make sure it's good to go. But like I said, guys, you can always find another purpose for used up scuba equipment. You don't necessarily have to throw it away. Our landfills right now are full of stuff. Um, now, Let's say that uh, you, you want to get rid of your gear. Check with your local dive shop because a lot of them will offer buyback programs. I know we do. Anytime a new reg or a new computer comes out on the market, we'll offer some type of buyback program. We'll offer you so much for your reg, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it can be serviceable, and you can trade it in for a certain amount towards a new reg set or new computer. So that's something you can definitely check out with your local shop as well. But guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you see that 
even your old scuba gear still has a purpose. You don't necessarily have to throw it away. But guys, let me know down in the comment section below if you use your scuba gear for anything specialized like this. And if not, give me some tips of something that maybe I can use in the future as well. But guys, if you like this video, smash that like button for me and definitely share it. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.